I am so excited. I finally found it. I know that many of you out there are interested in reverse engineering, and I know this because thanks to all of you, that topic was the most popular video I've had to date on my small channel. Reverse engineering an ASICS intruder OBJ file in Fusion 360. Over 50,000 views, and for me that's awesome, but there was a problem with that video. There was no automatic way to convert that file. So, this video is about the solution I finally found. In that video, I went through the process of using the tools within Fusion 360 to reference a mesh object to reverse engineer it. And I also touched on the utilities that can automatically convert the file to an editable model. I discussed their limitations and honestly, poor results. Now, Fusion 360 has an even more powerful method of doing this, but on top of the monthly fee you are already paying just for the software, they have put that feature behind a paywall. How big of a paywall? Well, let's have a look. Wow, that's a lot of money. Is there perhaps a workaround? Well, the solution I found works for both Fusion 360 and Plasticity. I'm going to show the solution in Plasticity first, then in Fusion 360. And by the way, if you want to try out Plasticity for free, check out my link in the description. If you love it as much as I do, then use my affiliate code REDBARON at checkout for a further 10% off the already user-friendly price. Now, I want to give a big shout out and thanks to Take Refuge 3D for this discovery. I watched his awesome video on his channel. It's a game changer. You should too. There's a link to it in my description and he has a great tutorial within it. This video though is going to go a different direction. After watching it, I decided that I just had to try this out for myself on that same A6 intruder model because this is the automatic solution I was looking for. No, not a one-click solution, but it's so close it doesn't even matter. So let's dive in. This is the export IGES add-on that you can put into Blender to convert a Blender model to a CAD format model IGES. This is something it can be read by a number of CAD systems, Plasticity and Fusion 360, as in this case. No, it's not free. It costs a whole 10 bucks. But let's see, what's the alternative? Oh yeah, okay. So how do you install the app into Blender? Go up to File. I'm sorry, go to Edit. Preferences. Add-ons. Install. Go find the file folder where you placed it and then select the zip file. Don't unzip it prior to. Once you do that, simply hit the install add-on here. You now have the ability to export a Blender file to the IGES format. So let's test this out. We're going to import this familiar old guy. And of course, they always come in in the wrong orientation, and I'm not going to mess with trying to figure that out. But you'll notice here that it has all its smooth curvature that it was originally intended to have. Let's see if we can take this Blender model, this OBJ, and export it out. Now, what I have learned about this is that these are very uh, graphically intense. I tried to do this all at once, and I guess if I waited long enough, it would be okay. But what I decided to do differently is I'm going to export this out in parts. So I'm selecting the fuselage. Now I go to File Export, and you have this option down here, Export IGES. And I'm going to say Fuselage. I already had done this, so here it is. Simply hit export IGS and it will create this file. Now I'm going to hide this and I have the other components that were in this file. I can select the wing here, do the same thing, file export IGES and I did this for both the left and the right wing for the canopy pieces and for the landing gear didn't mess with the bombs, I just want to see if this worked. Let's pull it into plasticity. And here are my pieces. The hardest one, 
because it was the most complicated was the fuselage. We're going to import it and we're going to let it think because these are very heavy files. Boom. Look at that. Now, unlike opening this up in Fusion or even imp uh, importing this model directly into Plasticity as an OBJ, I now have an editable file, meaning I can move, I can edit components. Or I can choose to merge items. So I can now simplify this, change it up any way I want, but I've got exactly the geometry that the original model was intended for. Let's see if I can import all of this now. Let's go back. I'm going to say File Import again. Let's do Wing Right. And there it is. Wing Left. There it is. Canopy. There it is. How about gear? That one might be heavy as well. Let's see. This ended up actually being the problem child. It took forever to bring this in. I would recommend going into Blender and uh, splitting this up a little bit, make it an easier import. So that's it. I've got the full model already imported and it's an editable file. This was my first attempt at doing this, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed. I'm not a Blender expert at all, but I got it installed, no problem. And in my first attempt at converting it, I was able to do this. So it just so happens that Fusion 360 can also read an IGES file. So all of this works perfectly fine in Fusion 360 and allows you to bypass that dreaded paywall. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe or just watch the next video here.